cheetah facts you probably did not know. Did you know that cheetahs could be tamed? Yeah, cheetahs go like way, way back to like to Egyptian to Egyptian times. Now cheetahs c could be tamed and kept as pets, and they were called hunting leopards, not cheetahs. And the cat we called leopard was given the name cheetah. So leopards and cheetahs actually switch names, which I found, which I found crazy. Since leopard is suited well, since what leopard is well equipped for the stumpy big cat that can climb trees. So I just found it that really, really insane that they both switch names. And like cheetahs and humans go like way, way, way back. And I can't blame humans for taming cheetahs. I mean, they're fast, they're adorable, like, they're like, I would keep them as pets only if they weren't carnivorous. But I feel like it's illegal to keep them as pets anyway. Or it could be. <sighs> but who knows? And although cheetahs are the fastest land mammal, they can exceed to 0 to 59 kilometers, although they can't maintain these great speeds for long. And while leopards can climb trees, cheetahs haven't got well equipped to climbing trees because they claw their claws do not attract your claws do not retract all the way like a leopard's claws do. Also, cheetahs do not roar like leopards do. I found I found it absolutely like dumb. Well, not really dumb, but like crazy that they were called hunting leopards. Seeing as leopards can roar, cheetahs can only chirp and meow like medium-sized cats. Oh, and actually, cougars and cheetahs are related, and just like cheetahs, cougars will sometimes chew off more than they can bite and take on animals ten times their size, like the Quantico, who is basically a wild alpaca or wild sheep. Well, not sheep, but like a wild camel. It's closely related to camels, llamas, and other animals. This cat is found in Argentina to Patagonia to the Yukon, I think. And they live in mountainless, kind of like the snow leopards. Snow leopards are all terrain felines. But these three cats do have something in do have something in common. They both cannot roar. They can purr or meow like medium-sized cats it's because their mouth does not have the fatty tissue produced to make a roar so instead they just do this meow or they purr which i can't make that sound i guess it's like and like bears they can climb trees they're half cat half bear well if you know what i mean yeah snow leopards i mean yeah cougars are are a all-terrain feline, even though they can't roar. I still find them better, kind of better than cheetahs. The next cat is the caracat. Basically, this would it, this what it would be like if cheetah and caracat were to have a fight. And I do think cheetah would win slightly because cheetahs want to run faster, and they're like half the size of a caracal cat. Cheetahs, I are diurnal, which means they prefer to hunt in the day because they trap by sight and not by smell, which is why I find them different from other big cats. Some big cats are nocturnal, like birds of prey are nocturnal, and hunt during the, and hunt during, like, the night. So big cats like lions do hunt sometimes in the day, but lionesses are the only cat that go out and hunt and males defend the pride's territory from other rival males. Also female tigers are more dangerous because they're literally the hunters. It's like telling your friend to go out with a gun and go hunt animals while you stay as a lookout kind of like that. And cheetahs kill, I mean not cheetahs, and like like lions, lions aren't really that fast and sometimes their prey can outrun them outrun them, but lions can't catch up with their prey and kill them, but they lack the speed and endurance that cheetahs have, obviously because they're not built the same way. I find this kind of similar to crocodiles, because crocodiles kind of hunt in the day, or they might hunt at night, or they might show some nocturnal behavior. All I know is that I feel bad for the zebras. Zebras have to worry about everything. 
everything, and I do mean everything. So yeah, and lions are the only social big cat. Other cats, such as tigers, are solitary. Cougars are solitary, and I believe caracals are solitary. And believe me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe cheetahs are not solitary. Well, they probably are, but when they mate, yeah. Yeah. And also, lions hunt prey like zebras, wildebeests, and even buffaloes, but they cannot kill the massive Cape buffalo. By far, the biggest species in the cow family is the gar, also called the Indian bison or the Indian gar or gower. And lions hunt zebras, even though zebras can be difficult tasks to perform to perform because they have that 300 pound kick that can gravely injure a lion but a persistent zebra is going to kill a lion and it's going to have little different little differency little differency it's going to have little differency taking down a, f a foal so yeah basically what i'm saying is that a lion would take down uh, a zebra foal without difficulty also, leopards haul their victims in the tree, while cheetahs eat as fast as they could. And caracals like cheetahs. Back then, before there was like clothes and like happy lives and like coal store and like Elmer's glue and like all that fun stuff, it was just a black and white segregation and all. And cheetahs are the fastest land mammals. And of course, there are birds that can fly faster. I feel like birds just get the haul of life. Like they can fly, they can soar through the sky, and owls even come with no noise. Like what? Like there are, most birds make some kind of flapping sound with their wings, but owls have no gliding sound. So you would never hear one if they were behind you. Like an owl could be hot behind me and I did and I couldn't know it. And yeah, so basically cheetahs can't roar. Like the caracal, the caracal was also used for bird hunting, just like the cheetah, and it could be tame. But I feel like cheetahs and caracals are kinda different. The caracal is known as the king of jumping or flopping, which is like best because I know how to hop. They mainly hunt prey like small antelope, although they occasionally hunt birds. They can jump six feet in the air to dissect a bird, which I found crazy. A cheetah could never do that. I I don't think a cheetah could really do that. I mean, maybe they could, but caracals can jump six feet in the air to dissect a bird, which I found crazy. And they have black tusk on their ears. And caracal originates from a word called caracal, caracoolac, which means black ear, since they have black tufts on their ear. ear. And they have also the same tear marks as cheetahs, but they're a little bit different. But caracals are a little bit different compared to other big cats. This one's just made a kill, and I don't know what that is. Maybe it kind of looks like a goat. I'm not sure. And like leopards, caracals can also climb trees to dissect prey. Or I, or this could be a leopard, but it said a caracals can climb trees to catch prey like leopards. And I don't know if they use caracals for hunting, for hunting today. I mean, they might, but I don't know if they're considered like basically cheetah knockoffs. Although they not, leopards can have can run half the speed as a cheetah. Yeah, big cats don't get no Walmart or no stores to go to. They're gonna, they gotta hunt for their food, and their food tastes as, just as good when they eat it. It's like preheating your food without actually preheating it, and it's already heated. But leopards, I believe leopards can, can take on bigger prey than cheetahs can. Although I could be wrong, since, since, um, Cheetahs tend to be taller and more slimier than leopards. But this leopard killed an impala. Just look at this. Some impalas were just watching. Were some were just like hanging out, eating some luscious green grass when they saw a leopard. And I don't know, but monkeys will make this alarm call when any predator tries to snatch up anything. It's like a scream sound that they make to alert other animals of a predator and leopards will take this very seriously see watch this this impala was unlucky and it was catch all the impalas fled but this impala and the horned creature ended up getting killed <laughs> So 
basically the cow-like creature was murdered by by the smaller big cat and leopards have been known to kill gorillas this in this video a leopard attempts to steal from a crocodile it literally does so it takes meat out of the crocodile's mouth now if this was a jaguar the crocodile would have been been dead like the jaguar would have went from the head this followed a large female jaguar in brazil as she hunted a caveman and the big cat decided to drown it and i do see the same similarities between 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 um leopards and like and like what's it called jaguars but i don't see it in cheetahs since cheetahs are different than leopards they also have tear mops and leopards tails are bigger than cheetahs it's because of their arboreal lifestyle and jaguars tend to be bulkier and bigger than leopards and also more brawlic also they have black rosettes which are rose like markings and in their um, spot. If you ask me, if you ask me, the Jaguar wins supreme. It is, his name literally means he who murks with one leap. Or he who kills with one leap. So that is proof that Jaguars run everything. For many of years, caimen had been the apex predator until Jaguars were awakened and literally said, freak that crap, I'm gonna start killing crocodiles now. But it said, uh, but I'm not going to listen to everything Google says because it could be wrong. A jaguar could win a fight against a full-grown crocodile or a crocodile could win. Although crocodiles tend to be, tend to be, not to be easy targets. I mean, just ask this zebra. But basically, cavemen have been the apex predator into jaguars born and they decided to make their life easy. Starting off by biting into their head, piercing their heads with the canines and dragging them back in the dragging them back into marshes and rivers and caimen have to worry about giant river otters it's like if life if like you you were semi-aquatic and a human quit swim although we don't live in water i mean imagine if god decided to make us all animals oh it's also otters are mustelids making them related to crackhead honey badgers and crackhead and wolverines and martens and skunks and like what are those other things like, I forgot their names, but they're kind of like Martins. But yeah, and I always thought skunks, skunks, skunks were herbivorous, but I was wrong. And then river otters will assault, will assault jaguars, even though they basically just use gang violence to intimidate jaguars. They often won't hesitate to eat caimen after they've been deceased. And the caimen will get really jump, especially if there are otter pups around, or cubs, or whatever you call them. Because they won't hesitate to eat the caimen alive, even after it stops breathing. 